handsome little goat. Baby bear. Baby bear. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You want to say daddy? Say daddy. Daddy. A sweet boy. Good morning, y'all. Today we are going to Vail and we're going to go check that town out and see the scenic views. We have the option to go home today or stay around. Uh, we probably are going to do something a little unique. We're probably going to go vacation and then drive as much as we can tonight. But I have loved every second of being here in Colorado. And there's a lot of things here in Colorado I haven't seen that I want to see. So I've definitely got to come back. What do you think, babe? We've got a couple of hours until we get to Vail. A wild buffalo herd exists in these foothills here next to these unbelievable mountains. Cheyenne has been wanting to see wild buffalo and apparently somewhere in those mountains is the herd. <laughs> oh, I see. You I see, see them? them? They're up there by the tree, yes. So <laughs> we found ourselves on this little road that's a dirt road taking us to this park called Genesee Park. And it's right off the Interstate 70 on your way to Vail. And it's really spectacular. We were driving by here on this interstate and I actually saw bison like in the distance. They were like sitting, like laying down under a tree. So I know they're here. They're in there. We just gotta find them. Well, you can see the High Line fence and I know that there are bison in there in this park. However, to get there would take too much time to find them. I'm just going to drive around some and see if I can't spot them. I don't think hiking with the baby in this temperature is really the wisest thing to do, so we tried. Folks, you gotta try it. Well, this is so beautiful, we've decided to just stop here and take a photo. Seriously, just driving by here and suddenly elk. Unbelievable downgrade. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Wow, I can't believe this. I would hate to try to climb this in a snowstorm. Passing through Idaho Springs, and they say this is where the gold rush began. So, that's kind of cool. We yeah. just passed by signs for horn sheep. So, we decided, let's go find us one. Wildlife viewing area. It's a cute little visitor center. Soon the big horn sheep are just hanging out all up in those hills there. Well, here they are up close. So this is called the big horn sheep, the mountain goat. windshield is very nasty so I'm gonna go over here to this rest area look how much snow they get here baby this is incredible snow I have never seen snow like this snowmobiling anyway there's a rest area right here we're gonna go over here and get some water in the jug and put it in my uh, windshield wiper fluid reservoir cuz it's empty how dirty my windshield is we stopped at a rest area I'm gonna go get water out of the sink yeah it's that deep Look at this. Everybody 
never seen snow like this in my life. And I'm from Maine now. Kind of neat behind me, huh? Okay, let's go. Okay, that should be a lot safer. Let's try it. Oh. Much, much better. Photo? Yeah. This is probably the most beautiful building I've ever seen in my life. Without exaggeration. That is incredible. <laughs> We've noticed a lot of people talking in different languages here, so that would indicate that people are flying in from all around the world to visit and to ski on their slopes. Cheyenne and I are not really skiers. I've never done it, she's done it. But Simeon's toasty warm. It's actually not as cold as it may look out here. We've got him wrapped up. Cheyenne's got him wrapped it's really up nicely. Warm. Like, I'm hot with this coat on. It's not even thick. But hopefully you've got an idea of what Vail looks like. We're going to head back now. Um, we've got a long drive ahead of us. I think it was worth it. It was. It was very worth it. Yep, glad we came. The trip over here was very intense. Some of the most difficult highway driving I've ever seen. Incredibly long, steep grades down and up. Unbelievable, never something like it. All right, we're gonna go. So I just want to say, we didn't spend a lot of time here, but I feel like the journey was as good as the destination. Uh, driving Highway 70 through the middle of Colorado, west of Denver, was exhilarating, scary, exciting, and beautiful. Definitely worth the ride out here. It's really cool.